All right, now we're going to talk about uh, tip number two. Uh, number two is about financial balance in your business. I think a lot of shop owners don't understand uh, the business as a financial model and understanding as a financial model helps me not only plan but helps me create, set goals, hold people accountable, all, all sorts of things. So I have a business and I sell parts and labor. We call these um, variable costs. These are what we call above the line. So I want my parts to be 18% of my sales. And I do that by using a parts matrix, which we will talk about later in another tip. But what I do is I buy a part from Whirlpack or from CarQuest or one of those uh, vendors, and I mark it up uh, a certain percentage so that the cost overall between the parts that I buy for a dollar and the parts that I buy for $1,000 uh, equals about 18%. Um, I want my labor loaded, and that loaded means all of the cost of labor, FICA, FUTA, workers' comp, um, shoulda, woulda, coulda, uh, vacation pay, education, travel, uh, uh, 401k, whatever it is that I pay for that technician, I want that to be 20% of my sales. Okay, And that's going to give me a cost of goods sold of 38% and a gross profit of 62%. Now here's the deal. There are people out there saying, don't worry about your gross profit. Uh, I think gross profit is one of the most important numbers that we have. The lower gross profit, as in tip number one, the more that I have to business I have to do in order to pay the bills. So I want to plan for a 62% gross profit. Now I might not get it, and if I don't get it, that's okay, uh, because I just uh, will make less money overall. So once I have gross profit, now we have a thing called fixed expenses. Now, if you're working with a consultant or uh, a, a business coach or something like that, uh, they're probably going to break your, gro your, your fixed expenses into uh, as many as 10 or 12 categories. In this case, we're going to break them into three. So we have our cost of sales. That's whoever is selling my product, uh, my parts and my labor. And we want that, uh, 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 we want that to be uh, about 10%. And that also is a loaded cost, meaning it takes care of FICA and FUTA and all the costs for the service advisor or the sales team, whoever's selling my product. We have marketing, my advertising, uh, my website, my search engine optimization. Uh, if I uh, participate in a BNI, a chamber meeting, Rotary, the fees for that, etc. And discounting goes under marketing also. Now we want our marketing cost to be somewhere between five. Uh, percent and about nine percent at the most. Now I might spend ten or twelve percent for a short period of time, in order to short period meaning six months or something in order to gain market share. But in general, I don't want to spend more than nine percent to grow the company, and I want to spend about five percent of my sales to hold on to uh, the customers that I have. And so I'm going to spend five percent no matter what. And when I want to gain market share, I might spend more money. All right now. Uh, that leaves us with everything else, the rest of the fixed expenses. And that's an E. And, uh, and that leaves us with the rest of the fixed expenses. Now, we want those to be about 25%. Now, fixed expenses includes a, a, if the owner participates in the company, not as a service advisor necessarily or as a tech, because if the owner was writing service, we would take that part of his wage and put it into service uh, uh, sales cost. And if the owner was working on cars, we would take that part of his wage and put it into a labor cost. But if the owner is managing or providing other support to the company, then they have a management salary of some type. And that salary goes into fixed expenses along with the rent, rent the utilities, uh, the debt payback, uh, buying equipment, maintaining the facility, uh, vehicle expenses, gas, uh, insurances, etc. Also, shop support staff. So anyone that supports the technicians or the service advisors, but doesn't necessarily uh, sell or doesn't necessarily fix cars, would go under fixed expenses. Now, if we did this all correctly, we end up with a 20% net profit. And, and you know, if 20% uh, is, uh, uh, is too much for you, uh, I need you to think about something. I don't get to keep the whole 20%. I'm going to take a third of that money and I'm going to pay taxes with it. So I'm going to pay uh, Uncle Trump and uh, I'm going to pay whoever my state representative is uh, so that I pay taxes. And that's about a third of this. It's going to knock it down 14%, 13%. Now I'm going to take 
a third of that money, another third of that money, and I'm going to put it back into my business. The roof needs to be fixed. The, uh, the driveway needs to be repaved. I need to buy some new equipment. I need to get some additional education. Uh, uh, I may have coaching consulting, uh, et cetera. That money is going to go back into my company to grow my company. And I don't necessarily mean in marketing, we've already taken care of that. And I don't necessarily mean in, in regular uh, facilities expense. I mean, I'm constantly investing in my company. So I'm going to end up with about 7%, 8% if I do a good job at 20%. Now, let's take a company that, uh, uh, this is a company where they've planned it all out and they've, uh, they, they've, they've used a matrix to price their parts. Uh, uh, they know what they're doing with their labor. They know what their labor rate is, their effective labor rate. Let's mess it up. Let's not uh, uh, follow our parts margin. Let's discount. Uh, I get a customer that walks in the door and he says, hey, I don't want to pay that much for the part. So rather than lose the job, let's lower our price on that part. Well, if we lower our price on the part, then we don't make as much money on that part and our cost and we also don't sell as much. So instead of selling that part for $300, now I'm gonna sell it for $200 and I'm gonna make less money and I'm also gonna have $100 less in sales. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna drive up the cost as a percentage. So this is good. Now over here we're gonna have bad. Now if I don't hold the line on my parts margins, and then I'm not going to sell as much, I won't have as much sales, and my parts cost will become a higher percentage. So now we have about 24% as a cost on our parts. And if I don't pay attention to productivity and make sure that my technicians are at 100%, or if I don't hold the line and charge for Diag, so I have a technician that is going to Diag your car, he's going to spend three hours on your car, but I'm only going to charge you an hour, that will lower my effective labor rate considerably, making the cost that I pay that technician higher than 20%. And that cost can go up to 26%, 27%, whatever, based on the fact that we didn't charge what we were supposed to charge. And that's gonna increase our uh, cost of goods up to 50%, and it's gonna decrease our gross profit down to 50%. Now, there are people saying, don't worry about your gross profit because it doesn't matter. But it matters a ton. If I make 12% less gross profit and I still have to pay my salespeople and I still have to market and I still have to pay my fixed expenses, then I'm going to make 12% less on my bottom line. Now, I won't even make 8% here because I'm going to not sell as much because I'm not going to hold the line on my pricing. So if my sales comes down by 10% because I routinely... Uh, take 10%, maybe 15 for this guy and maybe 6 for that guy and, and 10 for another, then what's going to happen is I'm going to sell less stuff. So over here, maybe I sell 120,000 and over here, maybe I sell 110. Now, my sales cost is going to be routinely in most shops the same thing because I'm paying this guy a salary or some, uh, maybe I'm paying a portion of sales, which I personally wouldn't do, but if I'm paying this guy any kind of a salary or an hourly rate, then because I'm selling less, instead of 100, 120,000, 130,000, now I'm selling 110, my cost of sales goes up. And now we're paying out 12%. My marketing cost in most companies actually goes down because I don't have the money to pay for marketing. So maybe here I'm only paying 3% out and most of it is discounting because remember I'm giving away 100 bucks here and I'm giving 50 here and 10 here, which, which is gonna drive down my cost uh, uh, because I don't have the money to spend it. And my fixed expenses, now they haven't changed. Remember we were doing 120, now we're gonna do 110. At 110, my fixed expenses, instead of uh, 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 being 25%, are now gonna be 28%. Oops, let's make that an eight, okay? And so now I have 43% uh, as a cost, which is going to make me 7% net at the end of the day. Now, which business would you rather run? The business that pays attention to margin, that prices things correctly, holds the line, occasionally has to chase a customer away because they don't want to pay the price, and, and makes 20% and works not quite as hard, or the business that has to work a lot harder? 
Now, assuming I did 120,000 in this business and I made 20% of that, I made $24,000 in profit in this company on this side. Assuming that I made 7% and I did 110,000, I made 7,700 in profit on this side. And if I want to make 24,000, I have to work three times harder. I have to produce three times more sales in order to make that same 20,000 in this business, a little less than three times, but I have to work almost three times harder to make the same 24,000 in this business. Ooh, wait a minute, it's more than three times. I have to work more than three times harder to make the same amount of money, and I have to do more than three times sales on this side. I would have to do 300,000 in sales at 7% to make the same, actually to make less money. Now, which business do you want to run? Do you want to run the one where occasionally you chase a customer away and you say, that's not a customer that's willing to pay my price? Or do you want to make people happy, all the people happy, and bring everybody in and have to do three times the sales to make the same money? Which one is it going to be?